a super easy eyeshadow look using three shades. It's going to be super easy. This is something I do almost every single day because it's stupid easy. Anybody can do it and you need minimal tools. The most important tool that you're going to need is your fingers and maybe a brush. Okay, let's get into it. Um, so this is what I wear every single day. I have, this is like a, a cute little combination of eyeshadow colors that I picked myself, put them in my little compact. Each of these are magnetic so I can pick and choose whatever it is I want to wear. And this is how I like to do it. So all I'm going to start off doing is using my fingers. So this color right here, it's called Philly. It is the prettiest chocolate brown. If you're a woman of color and you kind of shy away from brown colors, first of all, I get it. I've been there. But this is gorgeous because it's got a little bit of red in there and it's just going to like make your skin glow. It's amazing. So all I do is I just take my finger, my ring finger, okay? And then I tap a little bit of Philly on the outer part of my eye and just kind of smudge it around. That's all you got to do, okay? Smudge it around on the outer side of your eye. I'm pulling it in because whatever, I can. I'm not perfect. And bada bing, bada boom. Step one, smudge a little Philly all over your eye. Step two, this color, I think it's called pomegranate. I know she looks really deep and intimidating. She's not, she's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So take a little bit of your pomegranate, just a tiny bit, put it on your ring finger. And here's where we're gonna place it. You're gonna, blah, blah, blah. you're gonna place it in your crease. So this is the crease when, you, if you're not familiar, when your eye is open and you notice those little folds of skin where your eye is folding, that's your crease. If you have hooded eyes where like you don't really have um, a crease, when you open your eye, it's just like all lid. That's how you know you've got hooded eyes. So you're going to do this with your eyes open, okay? But I don't have hooded eyes, so I'll just show you. I've got my color here, and I am going to close my eye a little bit, but keep it open. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of that pomegranate cover color right on my crease. I need a little more. I need a little more pigment. I like this color. And just tap a little bit along my crease, okay? And then smudge that around, okay? This is not an exact science. You can do this. You don't have to have fancy tools. Just smudge a roux. Smudge those two together. And what you want to do when you're smudging is just make sure that those two colors are blending at the point where they meet. So you want to mix a little bit of the Philly and the pomegranate color, just a little bit. So smudge them just like that, okay? By itself, that looks so pretty, right? On its own. I'd be happy to just walk out my door and move on because that's just really pretty. It's a little bit of um, intrigue, but it's not so much that like when I'm in the store, grocery store, people aren't going to be like, dang, where's she going? No, it's just enough. Whatever's left on your finger, open your eye, look up, and just drag it along the bottom of your lash line, okay? We're not wasting product here. We don't like to waste. We like to use everything. Now, you don't have to do this, but it does help your entire eye look together, cohesive, plus, like, who wants to be wasteful, okay? And then last step, this is extra credit. You don't have to do this if you're not a glitter girl, but if you are a glitter girl, this is for you. You can do use two things. You can either continue to use the same finger or use a tool. I am going to tell you, if you have false lashes, like right now I'm wearing false lashes, you do not want to use your finger for this. You want to use a special brush. You want a brush like this that's got a flat head. And what you're going to do is tap into this color. This color is called Angel's Landing. I love this color. She is my ride or die. I love her. She's just got that just enough shimmer, right? So take your brush and tap on it, even drag it just a smidge. What you want to do is load up that brush with your sparkle color, okay? Load it up pretty good. And then you're going to get a setting spray and spritz your setting spray. Take your br uh, spray, spritz your brush. One to two is good. And then all you're going to do is paint on that glitter color right here. The whole reason you want to make sure you're using a brush like this if you've got false lashes is because you don't want the glitter to fall out or fall off your lashes and or fall off your brush into your lashes. It's not so much of a big deal, a problem if you've got your natural lashes, but falsies, falsies will give it away. Falsies will be like, oh, these aren't real because it's, I don't know, there's just something about them. So if you are wearing falsies, just try this. And the trick with that is spraying your brush first because the setting spray is gonna keep um, all the glitter in place so you can apply it easy peasy. You see how simple that was? This took me, what, like five? I lost connection for a second, but this took me five minutes because I was talking to you about it. If I was sitting in the car doing my makeup, I would have been done. So let's quickly do the other eye again. Tap into Philly, close that eye and just tap a roo. Just tap it, smudge it on your eye like that. Okay, that's good. Then go into pomegranate. 
find your crease and just tap it, blend it, mix, swipe, whatever you want. Blend the two colors together a little bit. And if it goes a little bit high, that's fine. Just blend it out. And again, those two colors by themselves together uh, is perfectly fine for day to day. But if you want to, if you want to level up, if you want to step it up and really impress people at the store, at Target, add a little glitter, close your eye. Hold on. Can I see it? Here we go. And just, there you go. Swipe it on. So this is my everyday go-to look. I'm so in love with this. Any given day of the week, I'm probably wearing this combo or something similar. Um, so if you need a link to any of these colors or you want this exact compact, let me know. Reach out to me. I'd be happy to send this to you because this is um, a compact that I custom built because I just love these colors. This is a little tin. Here's mag. Uh, the compact itself is magnetic and I built my own. I've got a ton of other eyeshadows, but this is pretty much what I use day to day. Um, Easy Folky, you said, should I change my screen name to Hooded Eyes? I'm not going to tell you what to do, but do do what you want to do, girl. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I forgot one step. I forgot to put this. Hold on. Let me just uh, 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 put a little bit under my eye. All right. I hope this helps. Um, try it. Let me know and reach out if you want to build your own eyeshadow palette just like this. Okay. I got to go to the store and impress some people with my amazing eyeshadow skills. <laughs> Bye.